Alright, hello everybody, this is Scott, I am back with another video, and today I will be showing you uh, how to properly use the clean out your registry using a Windows tool built right into the system. You can go, uh, sorry, you can go Control R, no sorry, Windows key R, it'll open up your run menu, and you want to go reg, reg, and then e edit for reg edit, then you're going to get the little registry editor, alright. This is your registry editor, editor, and the only time you'll ever want to use this is generally right after software, after you uninstall software, and it doesn't fully remove. I remember I had something for school, I believe, a while back. It's like Geno Pro or something. Oh my god, that was the most obnoxious thing. Whenever you went new, Geno Pro was right over here. I was able to remove it in like three seconds after going over here. Uh, the registry is not difficult to use by any means, as long as you don't screw around with anything that you shouldn't be. Uh, generally, these items you don't want to screw around with. But now, then you come down here and you got your Acrobat, your Adobe stuff, certificates. This is um, more about the running, how your computer runs rather than how it actually functions. Um, rather than the software that's installed like all of this is just kinda of pointless it's it's not something that you should play with unless you know what you're doing but um generally after you uninstall software you're still gonna have registry editors because nothing can get rid of all of them it's just unreasonable for the, for you to expect that from them so i have a uh... i used to use that evg uh, pc tune-up if you saw that video i uh, did a review over it didn't clean out all the registry it's very simple. I don't use anything from AVG on my computer, so I know I can delete it. And then you just right right click and you permanently delete this key and all its sub keys and now it's gone. And uh Avast software, I don't use them anymore. So I can delete this. And the reason you want to clean out your registry is because um if you don't, it's gonna pile up with a bunch of crap like this. And uh you're eventually gonna have to clean that up and I have a lot to do but really all you need to do is just come over here and just start cleaning up all, all the random stuff that you don't use I don't use anything from AVS I used to didn't like it they, they charged for it wasn't even that good kind of confusing oh Kingsoft I don't use their products Bye. Uh, generally, when you have an empty registry key, value not set, these are generally ones that you don't have anymore. I don't use anything from McAfee, thanks God. Thank God. Uh, Anti-malware and anti-malware portable. Um, malware bytes does leave a lot of registry, and since I don't use them for anything, I've always uninstalled, reinstalled, used the program, but I never actually kept it, nor have I ever had life protection. It's not even installed right now, so it's fa it's safe for me to remove this registry key. Really? Do I have to do all of these? What was the one I just deleted then? You know what? I, I don't care. It's probably not important. Actually, I want to see what I deleted. No. I can remember I can't do that. Well, nine times out of ten, it's not important. Just delete all the malware byte stuff. I tried deleting a whole subkey of it, and I don't know what it deleted, so this is going to be interesting later. I'm not quite sure what these are. If you don't know what they are, it's safer for you just to leave them alone. Because... Yeah, I don't want to screw something up. Kind of like what I did. I probably deleted something that wasn't important, though. VMware, oh. Yeah. I don't use you. I don't have it can't find my Windows installation so that's gonna make it more difficult for me to actually review anti-malware products since I can't find my uh, second key so we're gonna keep brawling with this alright so we cleaned it all the in the user now we're gonna check in the machine and then um, the software under here Bitdefender I actually don't have Bitdefender installed but I'm probably going to end up going back to it. I don't have super anti-spyware. Delete. Wise Cleaner. I don't have Wise Cleaner. You know what? I think I was actually going to review that today. So I'm probably going to leave it. We're going to leave it for now. 
And we're here. This is just such a simple task. Uh, Hitman Pro. Hitman Pro is not an installation, but it leaves a bunch of registry keys so it can function and run properly. If you want to leave this one and you periodically run it a lot, then you may want to keep it. I'll delete just to show you. It's gone. Very simple. And um, that's what we have here. Go back to the users. The 360 sandbox is from your security uh, program. I use a. Uh, 360 internet security don't screw with those unless you uh, have actually uninstalled it and then you have your last software and these are just fonts and that is all that is all of the registry files and that's a very efficient way to delete excess registry items if you have any questions please ask them in the comments below and if you have any registry keys that you're not uh, concerned that you don't know about uh, you may ask and if you prefer to use uh, third-party programs to do this, uh, great ones, Advanced System Care, CCleaner, JetClean, all of those are really good at cleaning it up. But they won't catch everything, which is why manual deletion is better. Just make sure you back it up beforehand, and then you'll be good. So, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for another video, and I will be back. Goodbye.